Thanks so much for joining us. My name is Nina Means, Director for Austin Community College Fashion Incubator. Um, and we are going into a brand new week. Um, guys, we are so excited about um, all the new things that are going on um, around the incubator, primarily our new cohort that just got started. They're in their third week of classes this week. Um, and you know they're really off to the races. So we're looking forward to getting them connected with their mentors here very soon and um, being able to work with our network uh, to help them to continue to grow. So one of the things that we're particularly um, excited about is um, the ATX Plus Egypt program uh, that we've been running here for the city of Austin. Um, we are getting ready to build out the pop-up shop on 2nd Street uh, with our partner Macy's. And so we are uh, creating some really unique spaces, some unique experiences for our local designers, as well as the Egyptian brands that are coming here to learn how to, um, you know, break into a new market. So uh, in just a couple of weeks, we'll be seeing us at Austin Fashion Week, which is a part of the ATX Plus Egypt programming, um, but it has been run for 13 years um, or more um, from fashion by events, fashion by Texas. And so you'll see uh, designers really from all over um, the state um, and some that have kind of come in for this particular event to be able to show their looks, their wares, um, and amazing you know, products from across the state. So one of the things that um, we'll be kind of focused on during our session, it'll be on December 4th at 1.30 p.m. at the Domain, um, kind of that paseo in front of uh, Neiman Marcus and kind of ends at the Macy's. Um, that area, you'll get a chance to see all of the brands who've been participating in the ETX Plus Egypt program. This is a really exciting time for everyone to get a chance to see the product um, and to be able to see, you know, what people are bringing into the new market and then join us for a pop-up launch event um, on 2nd Street um, at 225 Second Street. So we'll be doing that on the Sunday following their show. Um, we want to have a special thank you to Matt Flinney, who runs um, the Fashion Week here. He's been doing it for a number of years and um, he's really kind of perfected um, that experience um, for the fashion shows here in Austin um, draws a lot of different kinds of people to uh, the events and get a chance to see a lot of media and stores and whatnot. And so we're looking forward to introducing our brands to some of our local retailers. Um, another opportunity that we're seeing, um, you know, really for our local brands is being able to show their products in spaces that may be typically challenging for them to get into. Um, Mace has really kind of come alongside of our program uh, to help us with launching our virtual series, The Future of Fashion. Um, they've invited us to apply for another round of funding, which we're going to go ahead and um, fit in for here uh, very soon. So if you've participated in that in the past, the free series that we do, um, but they are also helping us with creating this pop-up stuff. And so it's so important for us you know, to be able to continue those relationships um, as we're helping to bring the local market forward. And we'd love to see companies like Macy's uh, to really invest in really what is kind of become more, of, um, you know, the grassroots, you know, kind of indie movement of fashion design um, here in Austin, really supporting independent brands, supporting them um, at the early stages of their business and showing them how to debut in store, creating really impactful and meaningful retail spaces um, that really communicate um, really the, the uniqueness and beauty of design and create process here in Austin. So we're really looking forward to um, making those connections and bringing um, Macy's in a little bit closer to some of our other work that we're doing as well. Um, so as we're looking at kind of how we are moving through this week, um, you know, our, our, this is kind of our moment to kind of set our intentions and really focus, you know, on where we're moving into. And really, as we're going into the holidays, you know, this is really an incredible time for us to really support our local brands. Um, we don't typically get a chance to, um, you know, I think we've got small business weekends coming up and stop small and things of that nature that are happening 
around the same time as Black Friday. And so what we'd love for you guys to do um, is to really consider, you know, some of these spaces for areas that you can shop small, um, you know, whether it's pop-up shop on Second Street, we'll also be doing a publication at the domain. Give you more information on that probably next week. Um, but we want to make sure that you guys are aware of the things that we've got coming up um, so that you can partake and really support these local brands. One of the things that I love about Austin the most is that Austin is really a proponent of, um, I hate to use this term underdog because it kind of says that they're not, you know, somehow they're deficient or incapable. These brands are exceptionally capable. Um, they are powerful, resilient, resourceful brands. Um, they're just small. <laughs> and so we are, we're, we're, we're pouring into them um, and developing them and growing them so that you can kind of start to discover these new um, spaces of product that I believe that you're gonna really fall in love with. There's some really amazing um, ways that brands are putting their you know, aesthetic together, things that feel like they belong in your home, things that belong in your closet. Um, and we really believe that you're gonna find um, that there's a lot to enjoy with in local fashion. Um, one of the things that we're really pushing with our brands is that experience of fit, quality, um, as well as technology, to be able to realize the collection. This helps us know, helps you know as a customer, um, that the process is more sustainable, um, that there's less waste in the creation of the product, and that brands are being much more specific about what they bring to market. So they get a chance to test ideas um, and use the technology in order to do that before, you know, cutting a bunch of fabric, you know, using a lot of extra um, resources to be able to generate samples, you know, the waste that comes from, you know, kind of those early stage ideas that may not see the light of day, all of those things really get accomplished care of um, by our brands learning how to use early on. So it's so key for us to be able to introduce them to these resources. Um, as early as we possibly can, making sure that they're using these things and integrating them into their process, um, then learning how to continue to use them once they've left the fashion theater. So, um, you know, as you guys are kind of coming alongside of us, kind of finding out what's available, uh, experiencing the fashion theater, we would love for you guys to, you know, as we look forward to the future, creating pop-up shop experiences in and around Austin, as well as inviting you over for sample sales, Experiences and giving brands more um, more feedback on the product and learning um, about the brands, learning about the founders. You know, we'd love to kind of encourage you to participate. Um, these are things that are going to be happening here um, as early as the end of this month. So um, we will be sending out invitations. We'll let you guys know if you have not joined our email list. Um, that is where you will find out about pop up shops and all those locations. So definitely send us. I'm a note at fashion.incubator at Austin CC at EDU and say, add me to the list, add me to the list because um, that um, you, the pop-up launch event is going to be kind of a, a private launch event. That pop-up shop is going to run for three weeks. So from the very first weekend of December all the way right before Christmas. And so you guys are going to get a chance to come in and shop some really exciting brands. You'll see some that are part of our um, fashion incubator, some that are part of Egypt, is primarily focused on our debut of new designers into this market. Um, and so you'll get a chance to really get a beautiful global representation of beautiful product um, that I feel really love. So um, guys, we would love to invite you. Um, we're trying to try to keep these around like, you know, nine to 10 minutes or so. Um, and so it may feel like a little bit of a journeying good morning you know talk around the water cooler kind of conversation um but we're going to try a few different formats you know which things are kind of getting a bit more a bit more traction and so you know so will be times when we'll be talking about an article um really looking at a specific event in the industry there'll be other times when it'll just be like hey here's what's on our calendar here are places that you can show up with that um and then other times it'll be a bit more about you know, some of the, the areas that we care about here at the Fashion Theater, which will most likely land on things like tech and sustainability. So um, definitely reach out to us, let us know what you're thinking. 
Um, you know, if you want to participate in the pop-up shops coming up here soon, they're going to be at um, Second Street location is our primary pop-up shop location. And then we'll be developing another location that we'll tell you about here shortly. And then we'll create some programming around that as well. So anyways, guys, we are so happy. I'm so excited to be, um, you know, your partner um, and leader um, in the fashion technology space for small business development. Um, we are almost done with our Acumark PD course. That's our 2D pattern design software class um, in preparation for our 3D course. Curious about it? Um, anything regarding digital samples, um, you know, avatars, things that are curious? Um, you've got a background, you know, a pattern, you know, a pattern before. Um, send us a note at night and creator. And that class may be a good fit. Um, so much more to say about that. I'll tell you guys more about that. But I just want to keep those on your radar in terms of ways of getting that question. So, guys, I think my time is up. Uh, it's such a pleasure to get to connect with you early this week. And um, if you want to, you know, share any of these, definitely don't forget to, like, you know, Hit the thumbs up, say, you know, tell us, hey, we like it, or hey, could you provide some more information on these particular programs? Or just just let us know what you're thinking. Give us a few comments. Um, you can share this with um, anyone in your network, um, as well as um, you know, subscribe to the channel. I think you'd really enjoy some of the other content that we're creating. So again, guys, I think you um, you know, we're gonna get started with this week. Thanks so much for joining me for fast for um, our coffee talk, and we will catch up soon. All right, best, and uh, have a great week.